Okay, so in this video, we're going to talk about the Pythagorean theorem and its converse. So hopefully you recall that we use the Pythagorean theorem to find missing sides on right triangles. So remember, on right triangles, if we are using this, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, a and b are the legs, okay? So remember, we call these the legs, and c is the hypotenuse, or as I always, and how I can always find the hypotenuse, is the one across the 90 degree angle. And if you think back to last week when we were finding um, and classifying sides, the hypotenuse is the biggest side and 90 degrees is always the biggest angle in right triangles. So that's why it's always across from the 90 degrees. So for the first two examples here, we're gonna talk about how we can use the, find, or use the Pythagorean theorem to find missing sides. And we're gonna leave our answers as simple as radicals. So that's why we were um, reviewing radicals earlier. So if I look here, I see that x is the hypotenuse. So if I'm plugging my information into my Pythagorean theorem, um, it's going to be 6 squared plus 12 squared. doesn't matter which one's which for a and b. It just has to equal x squared since that is the hypotenuse. So 6 squared plus 12 squared gives me the square is 180. And then remember, to get your hypotenuse on the own, you square root it. So x equals the square root of 180. But since our um, information told us that we wanted to uh, keep it in simplest radical form, we are going to break down this. So I found the perfect square that's in here is 36 and 5. So 36 breaks down into a pair of 6s. So x equals 6 square root 5. So that would be the length of our hypotenuse here. And remember, I wanted to leave it as a perfect, or yeah, as a, not a perfect square, but as a exact answer. So that's why we're simplifying the radical. So if I look at this second example here, we see that nine is the hypotenuse. So one of my legs is x this time. So we're gonna have x squared plus seven squared, and it's gonna equal nine squared. So x squared plus 49 equals 81. We're going to subtract 49, so x squared equals 81 minus 49, so 32. Now we square root it, so x equals the square root of 32. And then when I break down 32, that's 16 and 2, so I can take out these pairs of 4s and leave the 2 on the inside. So 4 square root 2 is this missing leg. So that's how we use the Pythagorean theorem in general. Now let's talk about what it means with this when I keep saying it's converse. So remember, back to our first week when we classify triangles, we want to do so based off of their sides and angles. So what I mean by that is if this is 10, this is 10, and this is 18, we know it's isosceles. But then I want to determine, is it acute, obtuse, or right? That was the classifying angles piece. And we did that by looking at the angles in the triangle. But here, unfortunately, I don't have any of the angles. So this is where we're going to use this thing called the, Pyth the converse of the Pythagorean theorem. So again, if we have a regular, and this is from a page in your workbook, if we have the Pythagorean theorem, what it is telling me is that if I have a squared plus b squared, and when I do c squared, this side, so I sometimes write it like this, a squared plus b squared is less than c squared, the hypotenuse squared is bigger, this makes it an obtuse triangle. Whereas then if I plug in my Pythagorean theorem and a squared plus b squared is bigger than c squared, it's an acute triangle. So if I were taking notes, what I strongly recommend is if we are classifying angles, we need to use this Pythagorean theorem. So if I have a squared plus b squared is greater than c squared, it is acute. If I have a squared plus b squared and it's less than c squared, it is obtuse. And if a squared plus b squared equals c squared, then it is a right triangle. So let's talk about how we could classify here. So looking at this example, we have our three sides and I wanna classify if the triangle is acute, obtuse, or right. Okay, that's what we're trying to find. 
So when using that Pythagorean theorem still, the C is going to be your biggest side. So looking here, this is going to be the biggest side. So when we plug it in, we're going to do 12 squared plus 11 squared, and we're going to check to see how is it related to the square root of 265 squared. So type that into your calculator, 12 squared plus 11 squared is 265. And remember, when you square root a radical, or you square a radical, they kind of cancel out. So 265 equals 265. So if I go back to this list here, a squared plus b squared equaled c squared. So this makes it a right triangle. And technically a right scaling triangle since all three sides are different. But right now we're just focusing on the angles. So that was this first example. So the second one here, we're going to do 8 squared plus 15 squared and check to see how is it related to this 300, the square root of 394 squared. So 8 squared plus 15 squared is 289 and that's less than 394. So when C squared was bigger, it was an obtuse triangle. So they purposely are drawn to look right, but like we talked about in class, you can't assume things, so then that's where we're using this classifying to help us. So if you wanna pause the video and try these next two examples on your own and then check it, that would be a good idea. So now we're gonna do here, um, let me type in the square root of 137, that's smaller, so 14 is my bigger side. So eight squared plus the square root of 137 squared. And we're checking to see how is it related to 14 squared. So we have 201 is bigger than, or I think it's bigger, 14 squared is 196, it is bigger than. So if the two little legs are bigger than that C squared, it is acute. And then our last example here. Five squared plus the square root of 21 squared, and how is it related to seven squared? So five squared plus the square root of 21 squared is 46, that is less than 49, so then this is another obtuse triangle. And then that's how we use the Pythagorean theorem and its converse to determine if it's acute, obtuse, or right.